Do you need to take action in order to manifest your desires? The answer is yes, I want to set the record straight. Yes, you do. Where people get confused, I think, is what constitutes action. So it's really easy to think that, okay, I need to take action to get what I want. Isn't that just how the physical world works? So manifestation is bullshit and I just grind to get what I want. No. (laughs) you do not need to work hard you do not need to suffer you do not need to grind in order to manifest so how does grinding get you what you want well firstly it doesn't guarantee that you will get what you want but I believe just like any manifestation technique that kind of wears you down that uses repetition to impress a subconscious mind When you grind on a task, when you practice, you get to a point where the logical mind goes, well, I've worked so hard, there is no way that I don't get it. You know, I've put this much work in, it would be stupid for me to still fail. That's how grinding works. That's the long way around, you know? It's just like, it's just a technique like any other, but you have to do like hard work (laughs) to get there, right? So if you don't have to grind, if you don't have to do hard work, what action do you need to take? I'm sure you've heard the term inspired action. What is inspired action? When your manifestation process is successful, when you are consciously manifesting what you want, you will be either compelled to take the appropriate action or an opportunity will present itself, which will compel you to take the appropriate action, right? So I want you to think of this action as the shortcut, the cheat code, right? If grinding is trial and error, like Edison trying to invent the light bulb, What was it, like a thousand times he failed? If that is grinding, then inspired action is the cheat code. It's when your message gets received and the universe goes, oh, okay, that's how you do it, buddy. Right? But that action, that compulsion, the opportunity, isn't always presented to you with flashing lights saying, here it is, come and do it, right? So you have to to look out for it. You have to trust the process. You have to be open. You have to be willing to try new things. And you have to be fully committed to your desire. Just like we talked about in the choice video, that the choice is the most important part of the process. I think this is where a lot of people falter, right? They, they, they make the choice. They decide what they want. The opportunity comes and they reject it. So what kind of action will you need to take? Again, it's not hard work. You do not have to suffer. I want you to embrace that, incorporate it into your very being. You do not have to suffer to get what you want. The inspired action, the compulsion might not even make sense, which is why you have to let go of the how. I've heard this a couple times and I like it so much I'm going to adopt it. I'm going to steal it. It is none of your business how you're going to get what you want, right? When manifestation works, it is none of your business how you get it. Because when you focus on the how, then you miss the opportunity. Let's say you want to manifest money. And you're convinced it is going to come to you through a job. Or even like you got to start a business, let's say. But then you get the opportunity, you get the inspiration to like invest in the stock market or something, for example. 
but you're hell bent on starting a business or, or getting a job or whatever. So you disregard the inspiration to invest in the stock market. Or it could happen the other way around. You're hell bent on the idea that it's going to come from the stock market. And then the opportunity to start a business, the idea to start a business comes along and you reject it. Because you're already focused, you've already set a path on how you're going to get there. And that might get you there, but it might not. It might not be the way you're meant to get there. So you really, really need to let go of the how. It is none of your business. So this action might be really small and it might seem like nothing. It might, it might make you doubt that, that what you want is coming, that this is the right course of action at all. Let me give you an example. These videos, these videos I'm making are my inspired action. Truthfully, I do not know how they're going to get me to where I want to be. They're not unrelated, but I don't know how it's going to, I don't know how the, how the dots are going to connect, but I know now I know this is my inspired action. This is how I get there. And I'm not, I'm not hell bent on the idea that, that this channel is going to blow up and I'm going to be like, God knows what, right? It's not like that, but this could lead to another opportunity, like an opportunity that, that, that wouldn't have been available to me if I didn't have these videos up. And that could lead to another opportunity. I don't know. I'm open to any possibility. That's the point. Let me give you another example, another option here. Action can also be making space, right? Let me give you the example of you want a new dining table. But if you get a new dining table, where are you going to put it? The old dining table is taking up space. So your action might not necessarily be to go out and look for a new dining table. Your action is to get rid of the old one, to make space for the new one. That's still inspired action. I think that's where a lot of people get stuck too. They think they have to do. Sometimes you have to take away. It's the same thing. It's the same part of the process. So this is like this, I think this is why it gets talked about so much because it's kind of tricky to wrap your head around. So I want what I want and I have to do something, but I don't know what I have to do. And sometimes it's not even a doing. Sometimes it's a removing. What? Like it, it, it fucks with the conscious mind that wants to be active and do things, which is why it's usually a good idea to, to stay occupied elsewhere. <laughs> you know, like have a hobby, work on something else, you know, have other things going on in your life so that you're not fixated on when's this going to happen? When, when's the inspired action going to show up? What do I have to do? You know, because when you focus that intensely with that much anxiety, you block it. Remember resistance is the manifestation killer. Resistance and desperation, they're the same thing. When you focus that hard or at all on not having what you want, the distance between you and what you want increases. So taking action. Yes, you do need to take action in order to manifest what you want. No, you do not have to suffer. You don't have to work hard. And it doesn't even has to have to necessarily make sense, nor does it have to be a doing thing, a, a, a getting action. Sometimes you're taking away, you're making space. Action does need to be taken, but it's not always logical. It's not obvious. You need to trust the process and you will be compelled to take the appropriate action. As always, take what resonates, discard the rest. <laughs>